Hi Dresser Cuties, Wendy here. Today we're going to draw Minnie Mouse from Squishmallows. So let's get started. To draw this cute Minnie Mouse plush, let's first start by drawing her eyes. So I'm going to come right here and draw a circle. And I'm going to come right across, giving a little bit of space and draw another circle. Just enough space for her little nose. Okay, so then I have the two circles in. Let's come in here. Since I have enough space, I'm going to make them draw so cute eyes. So two small circles inside for highlights and a curved line at the bottom and shade in the top. And lines at the bottom and same thing over here there okay so then now we have the eyes in let's come to the side right here and we're gonna have to definitely give Minnie Mouse uh, some lashes right so I'm just going to pop out two curves, come in here and thicken it up, and same thing over here. There. Okay, so then now let's come to the center, right between her eyes, and I'm going to draw her nose. So it's an oval, so I'm about right here in the center, just draw a curve, and curves on the sides and just go ahead and connect it and I'll come in here with a highlight at the top so it's just another thinner oval and shade everything else in there okay so now that we have that and we can go ahead and draw her face so I'm going to come to say about where um, maybe about the center of her eye. I'm going to come out, say about right here. I'll just give myself a point. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. So about right here. About the same amount of space. So about right here. Just give myself two points. And this is the point where I'm going to start to curve down and curve up. So right here, I'm going to start to curve down to give her some cheeks. Now I'm just going to go back and forth so it's a little bit uh, easier for me to see, a little bit more even. And I'm going to go ahead and curve it down. And it's going to be a very shallow curve right underneath the nose. So I'm go right there and then go ahead and connect it. There. And then for the top, it's going to be a much higher arc. So I'm just going to come to the center with this nose, say about right here. I'm just going to give myself a point right in the center. So I kind of know where to go. So from here, I'm going to go up. Since it's easier for my hand to draw downwards, I'm going to draw this arc all the way down and come right back here. From there, let's go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. So I'm going to go up. Make sure I'm kind of the same height as the other side. And come right back down here. There. So we want to make sure this arc right here is about the same as this side right here. From there, I'm going to go ahead and draw her bow. So using this as my guide, once again, I'm going to go straight up right in the center and not too far up, just about right here, kind of imagining the um, Squishmallow shape coming above. So about in this area, I'm going to go ahead and draw the center of my bow. So just kind of like a softened out um, rectangle right in the center. And then from there, I'm going to go ahead and draw this really big bow. So I'm going to go up. And everything I'm drawing is pretty much in the same length. Nothing's kind of popping out too much. So go right there. And then I'm going to go ahead and come right back in. There. So same thing on this side. 
just going to drag a point across and make sure I'm about the same height as the other side since I'm drawing pretty big. And once again, come in, out, and then if you're using a pencil, you can pop this part of the boat out a little bit over the head. I'll go in there and erase that a little bit since I went over. And then let's come in here and we're going to draw some crease lines. So there's two curves right inside. And let's add another curve right there to make it give it some volume. Now that we have the bow in, we can go ahead and draw the rest of the Squishmallow's body. So right here in this area close to the face, I'm going to start to draw my curve. It comes down on both sides. And bring this all the way down. And so you gotta bring it down more and then I'll just start to round it off. And about right there, go ahead and round it off and flatten the bottom a bit. And connect. There, my basic Squishmallow shape. And then let's come back to the top, of course, the very important ears. So I'll pop it in, in this area. So let's say about right here, I'll go ahead and start. Big round curve all the way around. And then maybe it comes about right there. And tuck it in. There. And same thing on the other side. So I'm going to drag these points across so it's just a little bit easier for me to figure out where to go on the other side. So right there and there, let's go ahead and do the same thing. And don't worry if it's not exactly the same. It won't be. We just want approximately the same area and our best to make it about the same size. And if you're off, you can always just come back in really easily and adjust it. This is all going to be black anyway. There. Okay. So now for some details on the body. I'm going to come about right here. Drag a point across. Because I am drawing big. So it's easier for me to draw this curve. And I'm going to go right across underneath the face, the chin, and go up. So that's my first layer. I'm going to do two more. One for the bands of color for mini here. So all the way up. And one more. This one's a bit easier. I can just go ahead and follow my top. And up there. Okay, so then now we can go ahead and draw all the polka dots. And if you don't want it to be too harsh with a black sharpie, you can just do it when you're coloring and use either red or pink, depending what color you want to make mini and draw the circles and then color around the circles. But I just wanted to show you, I'm just going to come here and draw some circles here and there to fill up this space. there. So my goal on both sides was to try to make it about the same size uh, polka dots. And then we're going to need to do them down here too. So before I start, because I love to add a heart <laughs> to all my drawings, I'm going to put a heart right here first. So this will be like one of my polka dots. And then I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing. Maybe a little bit bigger at the bottom. Bigger circles. 
So like I said, if you don't want it to be this harsh black for your polka dots, just draw these circles in when you're coloring. Oops. <laughs> fit one more in here and I'll just sneak one in right here to fill up the space but that is pretty much it and then I'll come in here since I have my white pen available and I'll just go ahead and erase this part so you can see a little bit better there went over the head and so these Having these white pens are very handy, is very handy if you're drawing with a sharpie. Just go in there and erase everything. <laughs> and that is pretty much it. I really hope you love how Minnie turned out here from Inspired by Squishmallows. And if you do love it, and I made it fun and easy for you to follow along with me, please make sure to subscribe and turn on your notification bell so you won't miss any new Jurassic Kid videos. See you later.